welcome to my channel i hope you guys will enjoy this look i did today using um jacqueline hair favorite morphe jacqueline hair favorite palette from morphe brushes this is how they came in how it came in with with a bubble wrap and then inside the bubble wrap of course is the cover and you flip it over it's her face and her her quotes quote co and what was what what is this supposed to call her her message yes her message for us and i realized that this box is a bit thick and when i open it i'm very surprised they also wrap it with another bubble wrap inside which is really good so that it can prevent our eyeshadow from cracking this is the palette and at the back it just with a sticker with JH so that we all know or they know which palette is this and inside this a protect a pro, what is this called a protect to cover a protector sheet and then these are the shadows Ta -da! I've used some of them some of them are patchy and some of them are not that bad for such a cheap price and some of them are not as pigmented as I thought but well this is still in quite quite a good palette Overall, oops, sorry. <laughs> so, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. This look I put for you. Just keep on watching. I have already primed my eyelids using Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer, and I also have drawn my eyebrow using Anastasia Deep Brow and Chocolate. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm using Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek to lay a base all over on my eyelid. I'm using Jaclyn Hair Favorite Palette by Morphe Brushes. And I'm going to put it on my crease. Now I'm going to put a darker brown shadow on the outer lid and my inner corner. Remember to blend it up as well. I'm going to do a hollow, not hollow, halo eyeshadow look. I'm taking a fluffy brush from Sigma E35 to blend out the dark brow that I lay on earlier. And now I'm going to take even uh, an even darker brow to pet on the area that I just did. I'm 
blend out as you need it with a clean fluffy brush now I'm going to place a gold color right in the center of my lid where I leave it blend Remember to blend it to the brown and I find that the gold isn't as pigmented as I want so I'm going to use Colourpop Get Lucky be a super short shadow I'm using my finger to to apply So I just done with my foundation and I'm going to use a lighter brown eyeshadow to do my under my lower lash line. I'm using Makeup Geek's um, soft crease soft crease brush. And also remember to blend it out. And now I'm going to use a darker brown eyeshadow that I used earlier on to do my outer lower lash line using the seam brush. Now I'm going to use a shimmer eyeshadow to highlight my inner corner and the lower corner here lower inner lower lash line <laughs> I'm using makeup up uh, not makeup uh, real tonic detail brush So now I'm done with everything, I'm going to line my eyes with my eyeliner and curl your lashes, put on mascara and put on your false lashes if you want to because I don't like false lashes. False lashes, that's why I'm not going to put it. I'll be back soon. So now I'm done with my mascara, eyeliner and I also even line my lower lash, lower water line with brown pencil <laughs> brown eyeliner pencil yep so this is the look <laughs> welcome back and thank you for watching if you like this look do give me a massive thumbs up and make my day even better just just subscribe to me I'm sorry I can't talk today I have no idea why. But anyway, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out. <laughs>